Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Brad and I've got the DigiRule 2 to show you today. This is the DigiRule 1. You may remember this from a Kickstarter campaign I had back in 2015. It just um, had some interactive logic gates, flip flops, and a 4 bit counter in there. My second version, the DigiRule 2, is similar to a computer you would have seen in the 1970s, such as the Altair 8800, which uh, was just programmed using um, binary ones and zeros. So without really rambling on too much, let's just get into coding um, something, a little program on this little ruler. So you can see this Excel spreadsheet that I've come up with. You have the instruction set, which is what you're going to code into this thing. Um, so you've got the instruction set in binary, all these ones and zeros, and then it gives you the English uh, real person kind of language over here so you understand what it means. Over here, this is where you can start to put in a program in the Excel spreadsheet and then it'll spit out the machine code for which you're going to load into this thing. So here's a simple program that I've come up with that's going to um, shift an LED across the screen and then repeat and then just keep going around. So we're going to start up here. This is the machine code. We're going to start off with in address zero. So the address bus is all zeros at the moment. So clear flags is the first instruction. There we go. Let's save that. So when I press save, it also goes to the next address. LED show LED register data. Yep. That's that one. Uh, what have we got here? Set CPU speed. What do we want to set it to? Uh, I'm going to set it to 130. We can change that to a faster or slower speed later. Load into the accumulator. What number do I want to load? The number one. Copy accumulator to address. What address do I want to copy it to? Well, I want it to copy to the LED register so we can actually see. Uh, shift accumulator left. Yep, I did that wrong. Let's go back to that. There we go. Save. Shift accumulator left. Now I'm going to go to address 1011. Save that. What address do we want to go to? Address 6. There we go. The program is now loaded in there. <clears throat> I have to go all the way back to the very first address, all zeros here, to run the program. I could either press the previous button to get there, or I could just put all zeros on the data bus and then press go to and then it'll go to that particular address. Let's now run the code. And then you can see, I'll try and make it a bit darker. All it's doing is constantly shifting that LED left. And I can press this button while it's running to turn off the, um, the address bus LEDs. There we go, let's stop that. Let's go back to the first address. How about we speed this thing up a little bit? So where's the instruction for that? Set CPU speed, we've got it set to 130. There we go, let's just make it a bit faster. Save that, go to the first address, let's run that, and now you can see it's going faster. Let's stop, go back, uh, where is it? Set CPU speed, let's make it even slower, let's go here. Save that, run it, and you can see it's slower. So again, just a very simple little teaser here to show you that you can program this thing in binary, um, you can run the programs, You've got a, a pretty simple instruction set, so you can AND, OR, exclusive OR, add, subtract, shift. Um, you can do kind of if statements because you can jump if there's a carry or jump if there's a zero condition and so forth. You can check the status of these buttons, so you could program in like a kill the bit type game, which was on the Altair 8800. And one last thing, you can also save the information into the EEPROM. So if I press save, and then I'll save it into this first slot, that information that I've just put in there is now saved. So if I turn this off, back on, so all the information is now gone, but if I load from the first slot, there it is again, all loaded back in, go to the first address, we can run it, and it's it's all back there again. Um, and that's just the back, all open source, Brights Projects, that's me, instruction set, and it's got some information about what all this stuff does. Okay, cool, well that's the DigiRule 2. Um, I've had a bit of interest in this so far, so I'll run a Kickstarter campaign, I guess, uh, maybe May, June 2018, probably around $15 each, something like that. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.